Uh, most of these are very simple questions and just short answers I think will do for most of these. Uh, in your debate with Peter Payne, you said, and you made the statement, and I've got the quote here, all actions are situational. There is not an action that is right or wrong. I can think of an exception in any case. Do you believe that? Yeah, but the probability of some of those exceptions actually happening are so small that we, sure. can, we can rule them out. But absolutely, we think, absolutely. We okay, can now, think of it, yes. Great, okay. So in that, you said a person came up to the mic and they said, when would rape be acceptable? And you said that exact statement. You said, well, most of them, you can almost rule them out. But hypothetically, if a bunch of aliens came down and said, we're going to destroy all of humanity, if you don't rape a girl, would you do that? And you said in that debate, yes, it would be morally acceptable to rape that girl to save all of humanity. Do you still believe that? It would be horrible. It would be regrettable. I would hate myself. I would probably kill myself after doing it, but I would have the courage, if that was the only option, if that were the only option, then I would go through with it. I would pity that woman, I would pity myself, but morality would require me to take the course of action that results in the least amount of harm. And those of you okay. whose lives right. that I saved by doing that, you might be disgusted at what I did, but you would be alive rather than dead. So in that weird situation, okay. which is hypothetical Sorry. and extreme and would never happen, there are cases where what we think are right and wrong could be flipped around. Okay, now let me ask you this next question. Could you rape two girls to save all of humankind? Well, we're getting into computational. Sure. Yeah. Two, 2,000. I, I don't know if I'm up to it. I don't know if you <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not. And if you did notice, that's pretty appalling to make a joke about something that's the most brutal crime that humanity can, can think of. So, uh, it's two million. There are six billion people. Would it be permissible to rape two million girls? To save six billion? Yes. Okay. Yes, it would be. Okay. Because otherwise you've got six billion deaths. Are you telling me we should not do what is morally necessary to do to minimize harm? You, you can't. You can't get through life without some harm. Okay, right? let me go to the next question if you don't mind. Well, I didn't oh. finish answering. Oh, okay, actually. I'm sorry. It, it, I think we all agree that it is wrong to stick a needle into a baby. That's horrible. But if that baby needs a life-saving injection, we will cause that harm. We will do that. The baby won't understand it, but we will do that okay. because there's a greater good. So humanistic morality understands that within situations there is harm and there's a trade-off of value, and sometimes in we don't live our lives in an emergency mode, but there might be an emergency situation where we might have to do something horrible and regrettable that's against our nature. Okay, appreciate that. Now, uh, you just said that it might be okay to cause some harm, and it, your definition of moral, in the ranking debate in most of your writing, any person who can, any person can be called ethical or moral who intends to act in ways that minimize harm. Now, let me ask you a question. Uh, one doctor in Nazi Germany was asked how he could reconcile the death of so many Jews with his Hippocratic Oath. And here's what he said. He said, when you find the diseased appendix, you remove it. Referring to the killing of the Jews as being a diseased appendix, him helping the body of humanity. He was intending to minimize harm in his mind. Was he moral? No, because the rest of us can see. Hum there, fortunately, there are enough of us in humanity who love our species enough. We make laws to protect ourselves from brutal people like that. And you judge a person's morality okay. by their okay. intended actions. So he was wrong to do that because, um, you know, if, right, let me if, if he wanted to think he was right, he could. Okay. But the rest of us know better. Okay, so let's say a person, after raping two million girls, you came to them and you said, how could you rape two million girls? And you said, well, I was doing it to save humanity. Exactly what the Nazi doctor said he was doing. And you just said he would not be moral. Well, let me go on. Uh, but I bet you would thank me if I saved your life. Not at the expense of doing something wrong because I know that after this life, I've got something somewhere much better to go. <laughs> no, no, no. 